what you're seeing here are the results of building out an SEO strategy solely with AI content by leveraging AI to generate and also publish the content on autopilot. And before I show you exactly what they did and how they did it, I want to go over real quick over these three graphs. So this is a screenshot from Google Search Console. Essentially, it tells you for a website how many impressions it's getting and how many clicks it's getting only via organic search. So people searching for certain keywords on Google and either clicking or viewing the listing. So they started pumping out content around here in October, right? And there's a clear increase, right, in both uh, the clicks and the impressions. So now they're getting, or they got, sorry, over 17.4 thousand clicks to their site. Now, this could be, or these clicks could be not very valuable. The thing is, is that they're available. Let me explain to you why. Because there's two types of content you can produce, right? The first one is producing content around non-buyer intent keywords. And an example of this is, for example, let's say I have an iPhone repair shop, right? I have my shop that repairs iPhones, right? My goal is to rank the website on Google for buyer intent keywords. These keywords are where to repair my iPhone, how much is it to repair my iPhone? Not for keywords like how to repair my iPhone, because someone searching for how to repair the iPhone, most likely they want to repair it themselves. While if someone's searching for where to repair my iPhone or how much does it cost, these people want someone to do it for them. And that's why we want to rank our store for this, because if we're ranking it for this, we can, right? We can post an article on our blog on, our blog on how to uh, fix your iPhone yourself, but people searching for these will convert much higher than people searching for this one, right? And even, even if we were to the extreme, let's say this keyword or the how to repair an iPhone has 1 million searches per day, right? Per day. Uh, but these two, two, sorry, have 10 searches per day. If these only convert at a 0.0000%, which most likely they all will, these become more valuable because these are much more targeted. Hopefully this makes sense, right? So again, the second way you can produce content is by leveraging buyer intent keywords. So don't just look at these numbers right here, 17.4 thousand clicks. That's great, right? But this could, this could mean absolutely nothing. But the reality is that it does mean something because these are mostly buyer intent keywords. And before I go to this one, let me go to this one, right? They are getting keywords now from here, to here, right? They're now ranking for almost 6,000 keywords organically, right? Which is insane. Again, not all of them are, are buy into a buyer intent keywords, but most of them are, right? And again, this number could be 10,000, right? But it doesn't really matter the number that's here, right? It only matters if they're actually converting the, the people, right? You want to convert people that are searching for something into customers. And also, the organic traffic grew to almost 3,000 uh, users per month. That's insane. Again, all this with AI. And the the, what they did uh, is over, is laid out here in this uh, little uh, Reddit post, which I posted on, uh, up here, which I'll link in the description down below. But I want to show you the the tool they use. It's called tryjournalist.com, and it's essentially this. This is also AI uh, generated, by the way, the image. All this you see here, the table of contents, the in-article images, the internal links, external links, videos, uh, tables, bullets. This image is insane. Um, more tables, more, more bullets, more images. Uh, down here, a call to action to this business because this is an article about uh, card, how to drive a card as a beginner, uh, trips for driving a card as a beginner. So these are articles that ideally we'd post to our uh, blog about karting, right? Our blog about karting, which essentially this is a karting school where you can essentially book a call or book a time uh, at their karting go track, right? Now, this works for any niche. If I go here and if I just type in grooming because I, I did wrote a couple ones on dog grooming, is a more visual niche, I guess. You can see this. These are all AI generated with the key takeaways here, proper article structuring, internal links, external links, so links linking out to other pages on your site, maybe to your homepage or contacts page, or other, other blog pages, uh, links linking out to authoritative sources in your niche, in-article images, in-article videos that are relevant to not just the article itself, but the section in which they're included in. Right, this section talks about nail clippers and grinders, and this video is about um, how to grind dog nails. Dog's nails, sorry. So the video is relevant both to the article as a whole, but also to the section in which it's included in. More images, more links, more tables, and down here a call uh, FAQ section which you can uh, can or, and cannot include if you want. And down here a call to action to uh, the business to go out and, and groom your dog with them. Right, again, this the results here were achieved with this software. 
Now, the niche is uh, not clubbing tickets, so it's a different niche, uh, but this works for any niche, essentially, right? Also, if you're targeting international markets, which are easier to rank for, you can just generate content in over 150 different languages. Portuguese, Spanish, Greek, Turkish, I mean, however, whichever language you want to generate content in, you can, right? Now, I do want to mention, which is something that he mentions here as well, by he, it's the person that achieved these results by leveraging this AI tool, which I'll link in the description as well. Um, he also did uh, three other things. I'll, again, I'll link this in the description. But the three things he did also were, other than using journalists to generate content, right, is technical SEO, right, so optimizing your meta titles, meta descriptions, doing schema, right, all these technicalities about SEO, site speed, all this that really do matter, he do, did those, right. He also did link building, right, building links, backlinks to your site, relevant, niche relevant links, those help a lot as well. And also manual proofreading. So yes, AI does help you generate articles. You can generate how many, how many, however many you want. You can even generate up to 300, right? But it's important to proofread and edit the articles accordingly, right? So we did these three, but it all stemmed, right? These results you see here all stemmed from leveraging an AI tool like Journalist AI, which is pretty cool, pretty interesting. And I'll leave a link for this in the description. You can generate content in over 150, 150 different languages, sorry. You can select the creativity levels. You can select the tone of voice, point of view, right? You can add your calls to action here, automate the headings or not, enable or disable key takeaways, FAQs, conclusions, Add your sitemap here for, for setting up the internal linking so every article you generate will be interlinked between each other. External links, images with AI, not AI, your own images, uh, automatic videos. Uh, I mean, it's, it's insane. The value that this tool provides, Even you can even connect your brand here and it produces a brand-tailored content, so non-generic AI content, so content that understands your brand's mannerisms, mannerism, sorry, understands your brand's tone of voice, uses your brand's images, so it's pretty, pretty powerful. And also, on top of that, this also indexes the content for you, so any content you produce and publish, it will index it on Google, and also does keyword research for you. If you click here, just add your site. I won't do this right now, but it's going to give you a list of keywords that have um, low SEO difficulty, but some decent uh, search volumes that you can click those and generate content based on those. So pretty powerful and pretty powerful that seeing this right here, right? Seeing AI content actually thrive because the reality is that Google doesn't really care who or what writes the content as long as it is valuable to its customers or to its users. So yeah, that's it. That's the video. Um, again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. I'll also leave a link for this uh, in the description so you can skim through it and learn exactly what he did in specific. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.